you. <laughs> I know you're there. Wish I had the strength to cut you out. <laughs> you don't deserve to exist. You're nothing! <laughs> there have been times when I thought about ending it all. But I was too afraid that a part of me would go on, trapped on the other side. Forever. Manager, huh? Marianne! Oh, sadness. We gotta stop meeting like this. I told you to follow me! Take it easy, sad. This place is huge. It's easy to get lost. Just, just stick with me. Okay. I'll stick like a tick. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> This, Thomas Rekovich. What? Oh, right. Listen, hon. You said you remembered someone named Thomas. Was it Thomas Rekovich? Was he the manager here? I, uh, I guess. You think he stuck around? I'm not sure. There was an old man here. Very recently. I think. Oh. And you think it was Thomas? Oh, I don't know. Old men all look the same, all wrinkly and old. Blah. Hey, 
That's not very nice. <laughs> well, if he's still around, I've got an infestation to report. Marianne! I feel... Oh, I don't think we should be here. It's okay, Sadness. Look, there's no one... here. Sadness? It all hit me as soon as I entered the room. Anguish. Fear. Longing. What the hell happened here? My senses jolted as I touched the phone. I could tell it had been used recently. To call me. Burn marks? Broken glass and... Is that salt? Someone jotted this down recently. Grand opening, I assume. Hey, is that the first secretary? They must have had some big plans for this place. I could instantly tell there was more to that clock than met the eye. Huh. Locked. Figures. There's got to be a way to power it up. Still works. Someone's been using it. Too small to fit a door. Hmm. There we go. There. An imprint. Is that? As I moved the clock hand, I realized it was a junction between realities. It's rare, but I'd seen it before. No. Don't do it. I can't. We must. Feel something's wrong. It's coming. There looks like a passage. Got it. 
check the wiring. I hate to get stuck in there. Someone tried real hard to keep this place a secret. Wonder what's in here on the other side. Let's see if it worked. Okay. Let's get the rest of me in there. Uh, uh, I'll never get used to this. I hate to think what kind of photos need this much secrecy. Okay, I know how this works. I need three liquids to develop the photo. That's one. Two more to go. Nope. Doesn't work. Suppressing, huh? Not sure I like the sound of that. I could sense something stirring behind that symbol. Like a gust of wind moving a curtain. He's not using it as a textbook. This should come in handy. Okay, that's all of them. Looks like there's a train missing.
Who's there? Not a fan of light, huh? Fucking figures.
Most people spend their whole lives seeing only a fraction of our reality. Lucky them. I have spent my whole life looking beyond the edges of our reality. Even as a child, I saw things that would break a grown man. Eventually, I grew into it. It became my normal. But that thing, it was anything but normal. I've never encountered anything like this. This... ravenous. I felt lost. I came to Neva looking for answers, and all I got was more questions. What was that monster? Who was Thomas? And what did he want from me? I woke up with icy water in my veins. I wanted nothing but to get out of there. To just get up and run until my legs give out, until my lungs collapse. But I knew I couldn't. It wouldn't have solved anything. And besides, sadness needed my help. There's someone there. Merry and happy. You're okay. Sadness? Is that you? Are you okay? What was that thing? Hello? Hi! Richard! Richard? No, Sadness. The man I'm looking for is named Thomas. Who's Richard? He's on the day room. Day room? Are you trying to show me the way? First Thomas, then Richard. Before I knew it, I was looking for a bunch of strangers. At least Sadness was still with me, in a way. Let me be frank. This case is problematic. My superiors want it to go away. I want it to go away. You can see how your statement complicates that? 
Comrade? I... Yes, I understand. Some things don't just go away. They stick. They echo. The nurse, she did it. She killed them all. It was like something possessed her. Is that really what you want us to put on record? It's what I saw. The nurse. But... How? Why? Cover your nose. Try not to look at him. The sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this place. Ugh. Definitely didn't need to feel that. Locked. Are those bolt cutters? That might be useful. If only I could reach them. What? No. It's fine. I I'm 
I'm sure they're here somewhere. No, no. Bernard wouldn't do that. He's nice. Oh, she's talking to herself again. What a freak. Hey, don't talk about her like that. Let me... Show me something. What the hell? Snowdrop, huh? Why does that sound familiar? Oh. Closer to the mirror, I felt a slight tug in my pocket. I could tell there was more to that figurine than just carved wood. I can feel it calling out to me. It was the first time that had ever happened. I touched the mirror and crossed over to the other side. Uh, what? What the hell is this place? What's happening? No! No, please, Mommy! Oh, God. What happened to you? Wait. I know you. You were that boy. Bernard, was it? He was trapped there, just like I was. I knew his name, but somehow that wasn't enough to send him away. It was like a part of him was missing. A spirit well. I could use some of that energy. That cat figurine was the key. I can't pass through without it. All these people, they weren't just killed. Their spirits were ripped apart, broken beyond repair. Maybe I can find the one Bernard's missing. I need to look around.
This was yours, wasn't it, Bernard? It's about time you got it back. where those bolt cutters are. So close, and yet so in a different reality. I'm sorry you had to go through all this. It's time for you to find peace. Bernard. Thank you. Huh. It kind of looks like the one I used to get through the mirror. Feels like it, too. between worlds. There was no escaping it. Great. Another mirror. New details have emerged. The situation may be more complicated than we expected. No time to explain. You'll get the full report once I get back. Just leave it to me, comrade. Very meticulous of you, comrade. Locked. This is where he died. Okay, this is 
still need his name. If only I could see the other side of this place. Huh. Some sort of a conference room. I gotta go. The voting's about to start. You know what they say, if you're early, you're on time. No, I mean right now. I can hear them gathering across the hallway. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you know how it went. That voice... That's the guy. I can't believe they sat me across from Boris. I don't care whose nephew he is. He's just a sexist pig for all I care. And late, as always. An attendance list. Boris. That's the guy he was talking about. Seat number nine. Okay. So this is Boris's seat. So the one I'm looking for is... This is it. The man I'm looking for. This is where he died. That's it. Nicholas. Okay, Nick. Let's get you out of here. There we go.
getting close. That woman was here. Oh. She was a ballerina? Okay, last one. I can barely feel my wrist. I don't care. I just want to go to bed. I need to be alone. Nice card. Was Vivienne one of your stars? This room has Guy written all over it. In big sloppy letters. There. That's her room. Someone couldn't even let her have her privacy. Vivienne? Just Vivienne? No. Probably just a stage name. The artist formerly known as Vivienne. Yeah. This wasn't her room. I'm guessing her manager's? Okay. Let's find out who you really were, Vivian. I guess one of these names belongs to your true self. But which one is it? Partial numbers. One of these must have meant something to her. Huh. A page was torn out. There. A bunch of numbers, some would say. But I sensed there was a lot more to them. Hello? Oh, hey. Are they asleep? It's fine. I know you're busy. I'm busy too. Yeah, it's tomorrow. The big day. Yep. Thanks. I'll see you home. Kiss them for me, okay? Not exactly a hotbed of passion. Yes. Yes, Mother, I know. I'm doing my best. What? No, I... Well, what about my hard work? It's not always about you. Don't call me Victoria. You know I hate that. Victoria. That was her given name. But not the real one. Not to her. Hello? Yes, this is... Vivian. Room 347. I want to make a complaint. There was a man here. Yes, from the hotel staff. Frankly, I think I smelled vodka on his breath. He... What? That was the chief of staff? Uh, you know what? Never mind. Thank you. Well, it's a stressful job, I guess. Oh my god, Ellie! I thought you were... No, no, I'm... I'm really happy to hear from you. Why didn't you call sooner? You did? But... Eugene, that slippery son of a bitch. Ellie. She was very special to her. You don't need to be a medium to see it. So... If you were talking to Ellie, that means... Tori. It's you. The real you. That's your name. It made sense, really. A name is more than what everyone calls you. It's what you feel yourself to be.
This is where it happened. Uh, of all the places. You? What are you? No! Get out! Ah! No! Uh, no, not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. I'm not gonna lie, it felt good, putting that curse of mine to good use. Moments like that used to keep me going. Now, I'm not sure anymore. You can be free now, Tori. Thank you. Thank you. You did it, Mary. Sent them away. To a better place, I hope. Hell, anywhere is better than here. Will you just let me pick you up already? Place. This is where it started. 